Hi everyone, Mahesh Thapa here and I wanted to show you two quick cases of the same condition and talk to you about this finding that you may or may not know about but I think is very helpful in making this diagnosis. So here's a teenager with left hip pain. We see an area of increased stir signal in the left femoral neck. I'm going to go back and forth and show you that. Uh, that's not a nidus per se because that's just partial volume averaging but suffice it to say I think it's not hard to find the finding which is like this okay so I'm going to go ahead and show you another case uh, and this time the area of abnormality is sort of medially more medially located than the other one he, before it was sort of up here and now it's more down here so these are both the same condition on two different patients you see a little bit of periosteal reaction or some synovial reaction here in the joint but this is a case of osteoid osteoma just like the other one and I'm not showing you just because it's osteoid osteoma. I want to talk to you about this sign called the half moon sign, nicely written up by MSK radiologist, I think from Greece. I'll leave a link to it down below to the article itself. But here's the theory behind why we get this half moon sign in osteoid osteoma. Basically, it's edema that's contained within trabecular patterns. So let's just, I'm going to try to draw a femoral head if I can. Uh, and then its neck, right down like this. And for this side, a little greater tuberosity. All right, that's good enough. There are trabecular patterns. Compressive and tensile forces create these patterns of trabecula. And one sort of pattern comes in from the proximal neck and heads towards the head like this. Okay, another one comes from a little bit lower down at the level of the lesser trochanter and sort of heads towards the greater trochanter like this. Uh, and the tensile ones come up and go from the bottom of the greater trochanter to the top of the greater trochanter like this and further up towards the head. So the effect of all of this is to sort of compartmentalize different parts of that femoral head. If we were to look at edema, a pattern, we saw one that looked like this, sort of contained in this area and the other pattern sort of contained in this area. And so this is called the half moon sign of osteoid osteoma. Uh, and it, the theory is that these strong tubercular patterns stop the edema before it can go to the other compartments. That's why it's sort of confined the way it is in the two MRs that we saw, okay? So really nice finding. It's very sensitive and specific for osteoid osteoma around the hip when there's a diagnostic dilemma maybe not the right clinical presentation maybe it doesn't get worse at night or aspirin or NSAIDs don't make it better but you have this pattern you could arrive at the diagnosis a lot quicker and maybe recommend a CT scan perhaps to look for that nidus if you like the content I'll have more pediatric radiology related stuff in the near future. Uh, please give this video a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Catch you next time.